on this episode of Picker Road, we're picking after dark in Las Vegas. We have a really special treat coming for you and you're going to love it. And as always, we're going to take you along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Okay, in a Goodwill I have never been in before, and it is enormous. So I am very excited to see what the hard goods section looks like. I'm making my way back. Got a little bit of a maze going here. Quite a few people in here shopping, but I'm really anxious to see what they got. Okay, I'm approaching the hard goods and there's so many different shelves. Where should I start? I think I'll just start on one end and work my way over. All right. Oh no, I swear, really? The first one out, the first one out is an owl. He's a hoot. Good Lord. Oh, he is, he's tremendous. I love him. Look at that face. Okay, he'd be great for the Picker Road Boutique. Let's put him in the cart right away. I like him. He's very good. Okay. What else do we have? All right, we have, this is a 80s style shelf, I would think, 80s, 90s, that wood. Ooh, it's a wood, supposed to hang up. Doesn't really spark any immense interest. Pinot Blanco, wine, a pretty scene. Looks like right out of Tuscany. Very pretty. Something like that in, in a tile would have been beautiful. And here's some little scenes here. Let's see, it says Autumn by Charles Wasiak. Wasi? The, um, Four seasons, it? Looks like. the Four Seasons, there you go. I like the lighthouse, but otherwise nothing of great interest. And just Chardonnay and Pinot and it's a bear shelf. It's a bear. Big old bear. Down here, let's see, we have, trying to dig out this. I thought so, it's a Renoir. As you can see, it's just a, a plaque. But for, oh, there it is. Auguste Renoir, 1841 through 1919, a girl with a watering can. I really love the work of Renoir. He is one of my top five favorite artists. Just beautiful Impressionism work. You know, it's just a plaque, but it's just so lovely that for, what is it, $1.49, I just want to have it. I just want to have it in the booth. Maybe someone else will just love it. Let's put it in the cart. Let's see, what does this say? This is metal. Was today really necessary? Well, that's a fun sign for if you're having a rough day. But as some of you may have seen in one of our last videos, I bought a whole bunch of signs. And I'm anxious to get those into the Picker Road Boutique. So I don't think I want any more signs right now and look at these letters and i just bought a bunch of letters and yeah william has a bunch of really nice letters so i think we'll just leave those i'm looking down here and i don't see too much look at this now this is that's an interesting signage piece look at that i kind of like that look at that i like the colors and you could put something on there like if we were gonna maybe have a sale in the boutique or something i could talk about that or maybe if I do get a certain lot of items and I want to give a little background of where I found them I think that might be kind of fun it's only $4.99 it was originally $29.99 at Hobby Lobby 
and I just like the colors. It's kind of that, you know, overused word of shabby chic or cottage core, but still, I like the distressed look and I like the color. So for four ninety nine, I'm going to get that. Okay. Why? Why am I here? Because I'm looking for treasures. What is this? I see dogs. I think I see dog. A dog? Dogs? What is that? It's dog decorative purposes only, of course. I'm really anxious to see what these are. They're like dog. Oh, they're so great. What is that? They're just little hanging pieces. I just think they're fun as heck. But alas, I don't think it's good enough quality. So we've got some planters. Oh, I like that color. I like that color a lot. I like the bird on it. It's a oh, Harry and David. Then we have sunflowers, a hook. These are always so useful. And the sunflowers are really nice with spring coming. A little bit of paint wear on that, but it's in good shape. It's only $1.99. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And this, and that is very cute. Look at that, little cat. You just put a little vaulted candle in there. Again, it's not very expensive, but anybody who loves cats, that could be a fun little piece, little accent piece. I'm gonna pick that up. Keep looking, what's this back here? This red piece. Oh, it's a kickstand. Look at that. I like that. Even just to put a display on, even. I like that piece. It gives things depth. It gives things depth. But I just, I just like being able to put things on it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick these two pieces up in the metal. Well, I'm already finding a lot of fun things here. Never having been here, this is really interesting. My cart filleth up. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. Oh, whatever I'm pulling on is part of that. That's so I thought. It's a director's chair. Oh, I love that. Uh, How much is that? That is only five ninety nine. It was it's Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. So as cool as that is, it's just you know. It's, it's yeah. Modern. The little pieces I wa were just picked up. I were was picking up. Those are different. You can see those. And then what do we have back here? You see this? I have. Yeah, another one of those kind of, it's trying to be like an old time um, travel poster. Unfortunately, the corner is all bent here, but it gives you the idea. Some of those old posters are just fabulous. The artwork and the graphics are so collectible. Obviously, this is just a inexpensive metal sign, but they can be really nice. Brighten, brighten the holidays. I suppose if you had jewelry from Brighton, that might brighten your holiday. And up here, we have just a metal candle holder. And it looks like a metal bird, a metal bird cage with a little bird on top. He's just an inexpensive little piece. More, just more metal pieces. I have like ma metal mannequins, so I'm not interested in picking up more of that. Lots of metal pieces here to sift through and look at. I'm looking down here, kind of a, a soccer piece and just metal. It's really hard to see with all the black metal against black metal, but I can see that these are all current modern pieces. A brass wreath that I see. And back here, we have some letters. So we have, well, we have pi. 3.14. There we go. I know a lot of people like these. I've got a lot of silvery metal plate in my boutique right now, so I'm going to let that go. These anchor bookends might be interesting, but they're, they're kind of bent. Even if they were supposed to be that way, I don't like the look. It looks to me like they were bent. We have a very cute little watering can. It obviously had some little flowers in it. We'll leave that, it's very light. Looking here, we have some rings on a hanger. Not sure. 
what those would be used for. And then we have some silver metal pieces. Oh, that's interesting. Put a plate on there and you have your spoon and your fork. And just a little candle votive. And uh, down here, let's see, very light piece. Some nice flower arrangement pieces. Let's see what we can find. That's Mr. Beer to you. I understand. Microbrewery. I'm just looking at some of these pieces. That does look like an older piece, but it's just really poorly done. So I'm not really interested in that. Back here is a basket piece. Don't think so. And looking here, don't see anything. Okay, somebody just stuck these flowers in here, so I'm just gonna take a minute to turn this over. I don't think it's very good, but just anxious to see what that is. I can't really make that out. It's been so destroyed. AA. Handcrafted, made in, and then it's ripped off right uh, where it says in. Just to in, but it's got a lot of scratches on it, so I think I will leave it to put it back the way I found it. And there you go, somebody else can enjoy it. I wanna look down here. Look at this piece here. This is Formality's Poppy Collection, $5.99. That is very attractive, but this doesn't do very much for me. So let's look down here. Just some more wreaths. Just flower pots. You know, with spring coming, there's going to be a lot of people thinking about planting. But I'm more interested in smaller planters that are more shippable. So just trying to see what we find. And of course, I love artesian made pieces rather than mass produced. Always, always looking for that. There's some lightweight vases back here. I don't see that's mass produced, thankful. And this very inexpensive little piece there. Looking down here, oh, that's extremely heavy. Not very well done at all. And we have very light, that's plastic. And made in China. Now there's a handmade piece. Unfortunately, just doesn't, doesn't excite me. I may be wrong on that one, but I just don't care for it that much. I respect the art, I just don't want to buy that one. And we have a Tommy Bahama mug. Now that's interesting. I certainly know that Tommy Bahama shirt, it's, I don't have to even really peel that off, I know. It looks like it's new, doesn't look used. I think I'm gonna put this in the cart and look it up and see. I know the shirts are very collectible. A lot of, especially gentlemen, it's more for guys, really love wearing Tommy Bahama shirts, button-up Hawaiian shirts. So I'm going to put that in the cart and, and do a look up on it when we get a chance. Maybe I'll get a few pieces and then take some time to look them up. Okay, continuing up here on the vases, this is an interesting piece of glass, but it's called Glass Pizzazz. It was $12.99, made in China, but pretty colors. And down here is all clear glass. And of course, clear glass could be very beautiful if it's a very expensive maker, Waterford or some sort of really nice crystal. But I just don't see that here. So around the corner we go and see what this next aisle. Ah, this next aisle has different things. It's got everything from travel mugs to Cowboy pictures, what does that say? Aladdin, yeah, it's a cowboy picture. That looks old. Nashville, Tennessee, look at that. Trailside Trail Buster, 99 cents. That might be something, but I think I'm gonna leave that. And look, I'm trying to dig here, I think I see some coasters. Coasters have sell, sold really well for me lately. And these are naturally absorbent coasters. 
I really like them when they come in their own tray. That just makes it really nice and, and convenient for people. So I don't want those. So we have a little sweet little teapot. Almost doesn't look like it belongs here. Let's see if we can see. Well, you know, before I pick on it, I don't think I would take it. So it just, it's not what I'm looking for right now. So I'm just looking down there and seeing if I see anything. I see some more cutting boards and silverware. And that's about it. What is this? It's another, it's another cutting board with a little boat. Okay, so we'll leave that and move to right here. Oh, there's some gold silverware. And we have a very light mug of no consequence. And up there, just some boxed items, pasta makers and things like that. We have Serafina Tea Time. And there's, I guess these go with those. I don't think that that's Serafina Tea Time. The tea making transforms the raw into the refined. It sounds like it's for a, a very experienced tea drinker. And down there, some amber glass. I don't see anything that William's checking for any glows. So let's keep going up here. We have a cream and sugar. $99, $100? I'm guessing that is a boo-boo. That does not look like a $100 creamer. Those roses are nice, but please, I, I hate to see how much the sugar is. <gasps> it's $100 too. So, oh, you know what it is. Duh. Look at it. It says seven of eight. So there must be eight pieces for $100. But that scared me a little bit because I don't think that looks like a $200 deal there. Okay, so what else do we have? We have a, a gravy boat, another gravy boat, and of course we have a snail. Of course there'd be a snail. What else would there be? He's hand painted. Unfortunately not hand painted very well. That's nice if you put a candle in that and hang it out in the backyard in a summer evening. That could be lovely. Let's see, what do we have down here? These are very pretty with the pears, a peach, and asparagus. Those are pretty. Those are Royal Worcestershire Eve's ham. Very pretty, but they want $15, and I'm sure that one's even more, and it's very heavy to ship. So I would leave that. I've got a lot of platters right now. This is where you could really find a glassy baby. Kind of the look. It's the round ball shape here, and then the thick base like that. But unfortunately, it doesn't have the glassy baby logo or the little belly button, whatever they call it. So unfortunately, I can't turn that 69 cents into a glassy baby. I only can dream. We can hope that maybe we see one someday. William's tall, so maybe he can get up there and see if he sees anything. Right away, you, you're going to feel for the the kind of the belly button, I think they call it. So let's look down here and see if we see anything. But this is where it could very easily get overlooked and mixed in. And we will be glad to swoop in and get it. Okay, this is a, I believe, probably a very old glass. Look at that, but unfortunately there's only one. So that's not going to work. And here too, a ring neck pheasant. That also looks like an older glass. Again, only one. These are very pretty with the tulips, but they're very light and not very well made. I have a feeling that this is probably good, but again, there's only one. If there was a set of these, I'd probably look them up, but I only see one. Well, we've rounded the corner and now we're in dishes, and I know the next treasure is right around the corner, so let's see what we got. Look at these guys. Kind of funny, very unusual. Oh, look at these, these are kind of fun. Look at these little orange dishes. They look kind of old, don't they? They do. I'm trying to see if that's not, not a crack. 
they've got there, the $1.99. The only thing is they're going to be really heavy to ship. I just don't know if they would go over and probably everyone's screaming at the screen saying, buy them. But I just don't know if anyone's going to want them. You know what? I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just look them up. Let's look them up. We're now in another section. It's just kind of different things. It looks like appliances and health and beauty. But I just want to mention that on those little orange dishes, through William's Magic, we did look it up, and there's nothing. There's no sold. There's no comps. So I'm, I'm glad I left them because they're just really heavy to, to ship, especially for whatnot. So let's turn the corner and see if we find anything else. Okay, so we came to another section. This seems to be their holiday section, and obviously most of it looks like Christmas. And it says Martha. I'm wondering, I think that's somebody's name. I thought that might be Martha Stewart, but I think that's just somebody's name. Oh, look at this cup. It's a very inexpensive cup, but it's got dogs on it. Oh, it's Dogzilla. Uh, that's, that's my, that's my vibe, is dogs. Ah, uh, little chip. So we're gonna have to put the Dogzilla back. Up here we just have some general holiday mugs. But you know, it's always good to look through the holiday section because right now people aren't really thinking about it. This is maybe where you can pick up some really good buys. Believe with all your heart, I do, that I'm gonna find a treasure. And cheers! There we go. And you have some little cupidy candle holders. Now, wait a minute. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I believed with all my heart these are little Cupid, Pooty, whatever, but they are made in Italy, which means that they are a little bit older and they're very Hollywood Regency. They've got room for a little tiny candle. I'm looking at the hands. It looks like they're in good condition everywhere. Their feet, the feet are good in the cart, made in Italy. And that's why it's always good to look in the holiday section, even when we're far from the holidays, for the Christmas holidays. I'm, I'm on the hunt for rabbits, though. We've got Easter coming up. So going through this, maybe we'll just move a little faster. But I did find the Italian angels. I see pigs. I see a pig at Kendall. And they are... Just a little ceramic piece. I think they are older, but they've got that candle in there. And I, I've got an awful lot of pigs from that pig sale I did with my dear friend, Danny the Niche Lady. And I think I don't need any more pigs right now. So he's not a smart. Oh, look at this. Oh he's no, he's missing an ear. Otherwise I would really love to have him. I've got a, a cactus dish. Oh, it's heavy. And it is treasure craft. Why do you do this to me? Oh, this is the same one Danny has. It's a treasure craft cactus dish. And it is, that's just, that'll just come off, I think. Okay, How thinking, it? it's only five ninety nine. Oh. The thing is, I know it comes with another piece. I think it does anyway. So it's, and it's so heavy. So someone would have to buy it in the boutique, but you know, I think they might, especially with the, you know, the warmer weather coming up. You put chips in there, and maybe we can be on lookout for the dip that goes with it. I'm pretty sure there is. I would have to check with George the Antique Nomad, who literally wrote the book on treasure craft. But for $5.99, how can you go wrong? I'm going to take that. I mean, who would think there'd be a treasure craft cactus in the Christmas section? But that's why I check. I mean, look at this. This is a wishing well made out of like a spun glass. Very light, so I don't feel it's super high quality. But it's amazing that it doesn't appear to be broken with a, a little bird on top. This is so light that although it would be great for whatnot, I would really be afraid that it would get broken in shipping. Because it's just so fragile. I just, I just don't think that would work. And look at this, this is, this is an old piece too. 
and look at the color. We've learned that when an old piece turns color like that, it's because it's been in the sun. And that's a really interesting piece. They want $4.99 for it. Let me see. I don't think I see any chips or anything. Nope, I feel it. I'm feeling it everywhere. I hate when I get home and I find a chip. It makes me feel like I really didn't do my job. But I'm feeling it and I just don't see any chips. I think it's a beautiful candy dish. I think someone might really like that. So I'm gonna take this for $4.99. My cart is really getting full. So that's a really good sign. It says, hand cut crystal, German Republic. German Republic means pre fall of the Soviet Union. Okay, thank you. My historian here can always help. Well, that's a very attractive little piece. I think that would even be nice for whatnot. So I think I'll pick that one up too. So let's see what we got here. This is a... Just not overly well painted piece. But I'm trying to see what this is. It's a salt and pepper margaritaville. Cheeseburger in paradise. Cheeseburger in paradise. That's pretty funny actually. Huh. I wonder what that looks like when it's out. It's your little cheeseburger. There's that part of it. And then there's the bird. I don't see any problems with it. It looks like it's probably in good condition. How much is it? I know. Would, would somebody want that like for their tiki bar? I don't know. How much is it? I mean, that it? could be really fun. It's only $3.99. Right. I think I'm going to pick that up. It, it's, it's kitschy. I mean, it's not high quality, but you know, if you have a funny little tiki bar and you want to live the margarita style. Well, you could put it on your buffet, margarita or as I like to say, buffet. As in Jimmy? As in wasting away in Margaritaville? All right, hey. All right, this one's for you, Jimmy. We're gonna take that. Okay, now what is that? That's a candle deal, don't want that. And that's very inexpensive. Look at that. That is really pretty. Look at that. It's a marble apple. Try to see if that's just junk on there. Yeah, just a little bit of gunk. And what do we have here? We have a duck. We have a duck. We have a rubber ducky. He's a quack. He's a rubber ducky. Let's see. He is factorum. Factotum. Factotum. Do you know that? You know that. I've heard of it. That. He's just a. Is he rubber? Yeah, he's like classic. He's like. A, What's the name? Oh, of there we go. Dusseldorf. Hmm. He's a Dusseldorf duck. Say that five times fast. I want to take my apple and keep on moving. Here's a May pop. Okay. Oh, here we go. William. He's a hoot. He is a hoot, but unfortunately, he's not very well painted. So he's going to have to just hoot, hoot, hoot on the shelf. And what are these little guys? Oh boy. Oh, they're little candles. That's sweet. Okay, and some candlesticks. No, nope. mass produced. What's the dog? What's the, What's dog? the dog? Let's see. Aw, he's like a Rottweiler, but he's not very well painted. So, okay, so where's the owl? The owl's over here, so they can commiserate together. And this is just a little, boy, somebody did a whole lot of painting that wasn't terrific. Wasn't terrific. And here we have a little skunk, little skunk, 299 skunk. He's funny enough, he doesn't appear to be broken anywhere. He doesn't look like he's super high quality. No markings, so we're gonna leave him. And what do we have? We have a film strip from Walt Disney Collection. It looks like it belonged on something. What's that on the back? It, Bambi, oh, presents wow. Bambi. But what is that for? I mean, it would that have to be on something like that? Or just like that? Just a, a little piece like that? I think we should look that up. Okay, let's take a moment and look that up. So William looked this up. It's Walt Disney presents Bambi. They're asking $2.99 for it. He looked it up and it sells for about $9.99. So it just wouldn't be worth picking up. But hopefully a Disney collector will come along and see it. 
Well, he was looking that up. I found this really sweet little stamp holder. So it's $1.49, so I want to get that. 24 karat gold plate, but again, the art of choking. They want $3.99 for it. It's probably really good, but I'm trying to really not do plates. I just don't think they excite anybody. So I know they don't excite me. So let's see, we have the Philippines and we have a metal, the kitchen made by Jean-Baptiste Simon Cardin. And that you would hang that. I'm gonna move on from that. And here we have, oh, look at those birds. They're metal birds that you would put on something. Interesting. I'm trying to think what purpose I could use those for because I love birds and I like to pick them up whenever I see them. I'm just trying to think what I could put those on. I don't know. I think for $1.99 I'm going to go ahead and get them. If I can't use them, maybe Danny can. And, oh, there is a Boston Bull Terrier. It's made in China. He's only $1.99. He would be very uh, specific though. I think you'd have to be in love with Boston Bull Terriers. And I love them. I love their beautiful things. But I think I'm going to leave him for right now. Oh, wait. I see Paris. I see Paris. Is it Paris in the springtime? It is. Oh, it's two little Paris trays. Ah, what am I going to do? Two little Paris two little metal Paris trays. You know, they're just, look at that. I love Paris. All right, I have to leave it. I can't take everything that says Paris. Okay, moving along, Eiffel Tower. So let's see, if we roll the dice on this, Jatem Amour, and the Eiffel Tower, of course. Okay, we've got love, Aw, oh, love makes, our house a home. There we go. Nice. Look at this picture up here. This looks like it's a little older. Now the thing is, it's very, very heavy. And the design is not all exciting to me. I have so many pictures right now. Oh, I like the little bunny basket, but he's inexpensive looking. Okay, keep going. Looks like somebody donated their Paris collection. Good for them. Nice. Let's see, we have those glasses, and I think that this is just a little handmade piece. Very nice. Oh, look at this, the horse box. It's just a box, it's just a nothing box, but love. It looks like maybe a mug came in it. It said 10 mug, $1.99, so I love that. Love horses, too. Hippity hop. We have a little glass bottle. It's newer. Oh, we have two little bird pictures. Look at that. That one says, Friends have a way of lifting us up, and the greatest souls make the best friends. Those are precious. They're 69 cents each. They're perfect. They'd be great for whatnot. They really would. I just like them. What do you think about the pink on there? Is that okay? At first I thought that was supposed to be, but now I don't know. Hmm. It concerns me that maybe it's not supposed to be on there. So as much as I hate to leave one, I think I'm just going to take this. Because I just want to make sure that that's nothing that shouldn't be on there. Okay, I've got my hands full. Let me put everything in the cart. The Bombay Company. I have had so many items from the Bombay Company. I always, always liked their workmanship. I just liked what they had. It's a really pretty little frame. I don't see any of the beading missing. I'm trying to look. And they're out of business now, so that you can't get anything from them anymore. I think I'm going to get that. Awfully pretty. Okay, keep on moving here. This a little candle holder. And now these, these look old. Look at these. These are Sure they are. They're ballet shoes from Homeco, and there's the age. So they are MX, so G1. 
1971, I think. I want to say 1971. If if I'm wrong on that, leave a comment. Let us know Tell what us. year is that. It's late. We're tired. That's what we're coming up with. I could sit here and really go through it, but boy, if someone knew, knew a little girl that liked ballet. I think I'm going to leave those, though. I think nowadays little girls want little more modern looking items and have a little kind of cactusy fake plant and I'm going through this kind of fast because I'm scanning with my eyes and I'm not seeing anything that I really want to bring to your attention we found some really nice treasures I am actually very thrilled with this little Bombay company frame so I think what I'm going to do is let's go hit the art section just check that out and then bring our full cart to the front. Okay, so we're in the art section now. She designed a life she loved. That's nice. I like that. Bella Jardinaire. Look at this piece. That looks old. But it doesn't, doesn't look like anything I'm interested in picking up right now. I'm looking for old original paintings. It's a nice mirror, but it's got some cracks on it. Let's keep going through and see if we see anything. I don't see anything that looks like top of the world. Okay, look in here. Oh, look at this bulldog. He's fabulous. Oh my goodness. He's so fun. Oh, he's so funny. He is. He's really fun. Look at this. I've had these these mirrors oh, that yeah, open before with the doors. Hey everyone. Again, they take a specific place to put those. How much is he? He's only $4.99, but he's not a signed print. So as wonderful as he is, I'm just art just doesn't move fast. And I've got a lot of really nice art that I have to work on selling before I get into too much more. A Disney, Mickey. Disney Mickey. I was seeing whether that was plastic or glass. And looking through, I'm going through these kind of fast. Here we go. Find joy in the journey. And join the journey. Join the journey. Okay, well, I think we've done it. Let's take this, look at this full cart, Will. Got a lot of goodies in here, including your hootie owl. He's a hoot. Here we go. So let's take it to the front, check out, and I'm happy we came here exploring this brand new Goodwill. Our late night treat after all this picking is Love It Frozen Custard. This place is on Las Vegas Boulevard heading towards downtown. It's been here since the 1970s and it's still owned by the same family. It is so good. I think we're all going to split a banana split. Yum. Look at that. Whoa, this looks delicious. Let's tell them what we have. We have a banana split. We have peanuts and a cherry and sliced banana and this delicious frozen don't, custard. Don't forget the custard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay. We're going to do that. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we finished this up. Let's recap all of our finds from that amazing Goodwill.
Well, we found some amazing items in our Picking After Dark adventure here in Las Vegas. We knew you would love it. And please, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, share with friends and family, and as always, feel free to join the journey.